Dear friends, we want to welcome you in the house of God. To the word of God. Wherever you are, be in your home, your office, uh, wherever you are, that is the presence of God is with you. So we welcome you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for today. This is another opportunity you've given us that we may share the word of God with your people. We pray that, Lord, you may be with us. We pray that, Lord, you may teach us as we share your word. Revive us, Lord. Set us free. Bless Bless our children. Bless our neighbors. Bless our dear friends, whatever they are. Let your word bring impact in our lives. That many may know you. That we may do your will. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much, my friends. Thank you so much for giving time to hear the word of God. I encourage you to share. The, call your friend and say, "Just watch TV ten and share the word of God." Ah, uh, 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 So that we enjoy the word of God together. Today we're going to see how you can break invisible barriers. Ah, uh, uh, There are some barriers in our lives that are invisible. That hinders many people to progress. So we must overcome them as children of God. You must understand that there are invisible barriers in life. And you must be willing to overcome them. Turn your Bibles. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verses 3 to 4. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 to 4. The Bible says that uh, for though we live in the world, we do not wage our war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds, to demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Nubwo tugenda dufite umubiri w'umuntu ntiturwana mu buryo bw'abantu kuko intwaro z'intambara zacu atari z'abantu ahubwo imbere y'Imana zigira imbaraga zo gusenya ibihome no gukubita hasi dukubita hasi impaka n'ikintu cyose kishyirira hejuru kurwanya kumenya Imana dufatamira ibitekerezwa mu mitima byose ngo tubigomorore Kristo thank you here we are seeing, uh, here, Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthians. He was showing them that we have spiritual weapons. That we fight, but our fight is different. They are principalities that stop people that we must fight. There are powers of darkness that fights people that believers should overcome. When we say invisible barriers, these are unseen barriers. Unseen powers can affect a person's marriage. Uh, 
ishora kujiringa ruka kuhusha kurugu mno. Unseen barriers can affect a person's life. Ndetse izimbaraga zitagara gara zishora no kujira inga ruka kuvuzima kurugu mno gete. Unseen powers can affect your business. Ndetse izimbaraga zitagara gara zishora no kujiringa ruka kuvuchuru zichanga kuvijukora. I remind you, invisible barriers are real. Kani ndege na gongwe vutse yokorgos. Izimbaraga zitagara gara ziriho zirakora. Because what you don't know can hinder your progress. If you tazi, we show what a quit and beka itera beriya. What you don't know can hinder your breakthroughs. Ah, if you tazi, we show what a quit and beka changa se beka kuberinzi tizi kujirango ushowere kujambere. For example, urugero. When you read your Bible in the book of Ruth. Ya usomnya bibiliya mu gitabo cya Rusi. We are beginning from verses 1 to 4. Ah uh, gice uburongo wa mbere kugeza kuwa kane. Ruth chapter 1 verses 1 to 4. Gice cya mbere cya Rusi uburongo wa mbere kugeza kuwa kane. Here we're going to see how invisible barriers can affect people's marriage. Ah uh, aha turaza kubona uburyo izimbaraga zitagaragara zagize ingaruka mbi ku muryango. Ruth chapter 1 verse 1 to 4. Olpa now married to a man that had uh, now it came to pass that in the days when the judges ruled that there was famine in the land and a certain man of the Bethlehem and Judah went to sojourn in the country of Moab. He and his wife and his two sons. And the name of the man was Elimerick and the name of his wife was Naom. And the names of his two sons were Mahoron and Chirion, the Ephraimite of the Bethlehem and Judah. And they came into the country of Moab and they continued there. And Elimerick, Naomi's husband, died, and she was left uh, with her two sons. And they took their wives of the uh, women of Moab, and the name of the one was Oprah, Olpa, and the next was Ruth. And they dwelt there about ten years. And the Mahoron and the children died, also both of them, and the women were left of her two sons and their husband. Uh, Nuko umugabo wite bwi Betlehem uyu Yuda mm. asuhukira mu gihugu cy'Imowab uh -huh. we n'umugore we n'abahungu be bombe yes. uwo mugabo yitwaga Elimeleki oh. umugore we yitwaga Naomi n'abahungu be bombe umwe yitwaga Mahoroni undi yitwaga mm. Kiryoni mm -hmm. bara abanyefurati Betlehem uyu Yuda bagera mu gihugu cy'Imowab baturayo <laughs> Elimeleki umugabo wa Naomi arapfa yo asigarana abahungu be bombe Barongora abamo wa bukazi mm -hmm. umwe witwaga Orupa undi yitwaga Rusi mm. bamara yo nk'imyaka 10 maze Mahoroni na Kiryoni bombi barapfa mm. uwo mugore yapfushije umugabo naba mm, we nabana be bombi Here we see a lady called Naomi Aha turabona umudamu witwa Naomi She married a man called Elimelech Yashatse umugabo witwa Elimelech They had two sons Babyara nabana babahungu babiri Later on they shifted to Moab Nyuma yabwo baza kwimuka bajya Moab The father of the family Elimelech died Bageze yo umugabo cyangwa umukuru w'umuryango ari we Elimelech arapfa Naomi got married to this family but he didn't know that there are powers that kill men in this family Naomi rero ashaka muri uyu muryango Ya usha temo ariko tazi yuko uyu muryango muri wo ufite imbaraga zica abagabo mu muryango She didn't know that there is a premature death that affects men in this family. Ah na ome ntabwo yarazi yuko hari umwuka wo gukenyuka ukenyura abagabo bo muri uyu muryango. So the father called Elimerick died. None ho Elimerick yarapfa. Naomi took responsibility as a mother. Ah, uh, no, no, Naomi, I've got to sing along with them. Mahoron and Chiriyoni grew as men. Mahoron and Chiriyoni were a couple of babagabo. She helped them to get married. Araba fashabara shaka. They married uh, Olpa and uh, Luz. Bashaka bomo abokazi umwe witwa Olpa ondo witwa Luz. Time came. Ije chijeze. What it took their father came to take the son. So ichatkwa yese chigaruka no gushaka abahungu nabo kirabatwa We are talking of invisible barriers. Turimo kuvuga kumbaraga zitagaragara. Invisible barriers can cause premature death. Ah uh, izimbaraga cyangwa izi bariye ritagaragara ishobora guteza gukenyuka mu muryango. Invisible barriers can destroy marriages. Ah uh, izi bariye ritagaragara ishobora gusenyura ushako. It takes spiritual maturity and sense the spiritual understanding to know what fights the families. Nero bisaba umuntu kuza mu mwuka ushobora gushishoza kugira ngo ashobore kugenzura amenye izimbaraga 
Kaga. And we identify what fights your family. Umenye neza uti ni bichi wirguanyu muriango wa atu. What hinders my family from progressing? Ese ni ichi chije chibu zu muriango wa atu gujira kuitera mbire. What hinders our young men to die without getting married? Ese ni ichi chije jiche nyura wa hungu wa atu waga pfavada shat. What stops our girls from getting married? Ese ni ichi chije chita ambika wa kubga wa atu viga tumabata shak. You need to understand what fights your family. Dero uragomba gusama nukirugwa neza ichi nujifiti mba my friend, what you don't know can hinder your progress. What you don't know can stop your joy in marriage. What you don't know can stop progress in your marriage. What you don't know can cause conflicts and ends up breaking marriages. Naomi didn't know that the family she's getting married too, there is a spirit that takes a man. Dero na woman habgo yara zineza konubga shatsa ariku murjanga shatsa mo ufiti mbaraga zichenyu rabagabu. Eri merek died. Eri merek yarapfa. The father of the family. Ariwe warise hu murjango. The first born he died. Infuri rapfa. After getting married. Ichi maragu shaka. The young son also died. Namuru munawe na warapfa. Mahoron and Chiron all died. Mahoron na Chiron it go se warapfa. The family was of widows. No no murjango reno waru sige mawa pakazi. Nobody was there to help. Hamun waru hari waku wafasha. The only option was. Amahirgu yara siga ye. Is the mature widow or their mother-in-law to go back to the family and be carried by the family. Just about the fact that you are married, you are going to be married. 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 Here we see Naomi decided to go back. She said bye bye to Ruth and Orpa. She all cried. Because they were had first invisible barriers they didn't know. There are some families that have got hidden barriers. Find a person is educated but can never progress life. It's earning good money but cannot even progress in life. Or it's educated but addicted by bad habits. Because hidden barriers don't want these sons or girls to progress in life. You need the hand of God to help you. You need the hand of God to help you overcome every barrier. The creator of the universe has power to overcome this. That's why Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthians and said, We have spiritual weapons to overcome this. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May you destroy every hidden barriers that we are stopping to progress. I pray for you today. May you never be hindered by any hidden barriers in your family. In the name of Jesus. I pray for your children. May your children never become victims of hidden barriers in the name of Jesus. May the hand of the good God help your family now and forever. In the name of Jesus, people of God say amen. Every time you understand there is invisible powers, you must decide how to overcome them. Yes. I want to show you another example of invisible barriers in the Bible. Invisible barriers can come as a result of a spoken word. A person can speak a word over your 
family. A person can speak a word over the progress of your business. A person can speak words over your children and these words can bring impact. And these bad words or evil words can become a barrier. No, no, I am a gambo. Mabi Yafuzgo Chango Yatui, Agahindu Kabarieri, Kriya Baba, and Yafuzgo. These words also can be spoken over the land. That's a I am a gambo. Mabi Ashorano Kwaturga Kubutaka. I'm sharing this with you so that you may know how to overcome these hidden barriers. Ah, and Timokwa Sanjay Zabinovino, Kujirango Mumenyeneza, is the barrier is Tagaragara. How you can overcome them. You must overcome them and you progress. Turn your Bibles. In 1 Kings chapter 16 verse 34. 16, 34. 1 Kings chapter 16 verse 34. 34. In his days, did Hael the Bethrite build Jericho? He laid the foundation thereof and of Abraham his son, and he set the gates thereof his youngest son, Segub, according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke by Joshua the son of Nun. Kungomaya Ahabu, Yeri we Beteri, Yubakieriko, Ije Yubakaga. Rufatiro of Fusuma and away we in Fura. We twa Abiram. A shenze if you change your marembo. A Fusumuhe de Zue, we twa Gasegubu. Yo, who call we take a career of Uze. A Vivuje Mokanwa, Kayoshua, Mene non. Here we see a time when Joshua was leading the children of Israel. A hunger had Ravana, Mujihe. Joshua was leading the children of Israel around Jericho. And he saw the land was not easy for them to conquer. Because of that, he cast the land. And he said, whoever will rise to build this land, when he does it by building it, when he raises the foundation, his first son will die. The firstborn will die. And when he finishes building it, no, no, now Marakuba Kakandi. When he builds the gate, the last son will die. Now, Ajia Gushira Vichengi Jamarembo, Aza Fushimu Heredi. After many years, Joshua gone. No, no, you may be a chin in my Yaka, you swear a G. There came a rich man. A great leader called Segub. Segub. He said, Let me build this land. He didn't know that it was a hidden barrier which came by the word of Joshua. And when he started building it, he lost his firstborn. The man went on building. When he finished building, he lost the, first, the last son. As Joshua spoke it. Many times we meet people who have challenges of a spoken word. Where the mother spoke evil words over the son when she was drunk. When the dad is drunk, he can speak some evil words over the children. He can speak some bad words that can break the future of the child. These bad words from a parent can affect your destiny. This man called Hier lost his first son because he didn't know the spoken word. Many times. 
times we struggle and have losses because we don't know what is hidden there for us. Akenshi mu buzima usanga dukirana turwana duhomba ariko kubera ko tutazi ikihisha inyuma yabyo. My friend as you hear this word. Shuti ya ngirimo umva rino jambo. Pray that the Lord will open you the eyes of your understanding. Ndagusengira kugira ngo Imana ikingure imitekerereze yawe. And discover any hidden barrier in your life. Kugira ngo ushobore kuvumbura no kumenya buri nzitizi yose cyangwa bari bayeri iri mu buzima bwawe. Identify what you want to try to do and you fail. Kugira ngo ushobore kubona cyakintu uje ugerageza gushaka gukora cyangwa ubawumva wakora ariko ukumva uri muratsindwa. Which barrier is in your family? Ese ni yihe nzitizi ni yihe barrier iri mu muryango wawe? Have a barrier against marriage in your family? Ese ufite barrier irwanya urushako mu muryango wanyu? The families you see marriages are not easy. Eri imiryango uzabona ugasanga gushaka kwabo biragoye. Families you see even the education is not easy for them. Hari imiryango uzabona ugasanga kwiga kwabo kuragoye. Because of hidden barriers. Kubera inzitizi cyangwa barrier zitagaragara. The families you see they are have no unity. Hari imiryango uzabona ukabona ntigishyira hamwe mu buzima. A blessed person cannot help the one who is not more blessed. Ugasanga umuntu Imana yagiriye neza yahaye ubuzima n'ubushobozi ariko ntashobora no kugira ubafasha mu muryango. Hidden barriers can bring confusion in family. Dero izi barrier tagaragara zishora no kuzana gucanga nyikirwa cyangwa se urujijo mu muryango so we have seen how invisible barriers can bring premature death zero tumaze kubona uburyo izimbaraga zitagaragara zizana gukenyuka mu muryango invisible barriers can make you fail to do what you wanted to do izi barriers zitagaragara zishora gutuma unanirwa gukora ibyo washakaga gukora invisible barriers can affect people of all ages kandi zimbaraga izi barriers zishora kugira ingaruka ku bantu b'imyaka cyangwa ikigeri cyari cyo cyose you see a rich man who, who has enough money failed to finish his building project in a peace and joy ahanga hato habonye umugabo wari umukire wari ufite ubushobozi bwo kubaka ibyo yashakaga kubaka ari kashoje gusoza ibyo yubaka afite umubabaro aho gusoza afite umunezero because of hidden barriers kubera barriers cyangwa inzitizi zitagaragara hidden barriers can affect a person's life izimbaraga zitagaragara zishobora kugira ingaruka ku buzima bw'umuntu I pray for you today Ndagusengera uyu munsi May you never buy a land that will cause troubles in your life Kugira ngo utazigera ugura ubutaka buzaguteza kaga mu buzima bwawe May every land you buy bring peace and joy in the Eka, name of Jesus Eka ubutaka bwose uzagura cyangwa uzatunga buzakuzanira umunezero n'amahoro May you never invest your finances in a place that will cause you troubles Ntuzigera ukora ishora amari ryawe ahantu hazaguteza kaga for you may you be, may you be never led to a place that will cause you troubles as you hear this word i pray that may the living god open the eyes of your understanding so that you may discover hidden barriers in your life and destroy them by your prayers in the name of kugira ngo ushobore kuvumbura no kumenya izi barriers zitagaragara ushobore kuzisenya mu izina rya Yesu name of Jesus. Say amen. amen. So there are people you see in families they um, they can't get blessings open areas you see. Hari abantu b'imiryango imwe ni muzabona ukabona nti bajya babona umugisha ufate ka ngo ubone ukabona ibahora mu bibazo gusa. Find family has beautiful girls. Ugasanga umuryango ufite abakobwa beza pe. Why they never get married? Ariko ugasanga nti bajya bashaka. And they can't tell you what is hidden behind. Kandi nti bashora kukubwira ikibyihisha inyuma. Fun boys are in the family. Ugasanga mu miryango. Hari abasore beza rwose bari mu miryango. But getting married is not easy. Ariko gushaka ntabwo ari ikintu cyoroshye kuri bo. Unity is not ubumwe ntibushoboka muri bo when you talk to them ariko wavugana nabo they discover their hidden barriers that fights them ugasanga bashoboye gusobanukirwa barriers zitagaragara zibitambika even some of these hidden barriers appear to them even in dreams ah ndetse zimbaraga zitagaragara cyangwa zibe barriers zitagaragara hari n'igihe ziba zibigaragariza cyangwa bakazibona mu nzozi baryamye yes they tell you in our family we don't do this. Bakakubwira bati mu miryango yacu ntabwo tujya dukora bino. Pastor comes to you in a dream and say in our family we don't get married. Ugasanga umuntu aragusuye n'injoro mu nzozi kubyo washakaga gukora akakubwira ati ibyo ngibyo twebwe mu muryango nti tujya tubikora uramenye. You understand there is a barrier that needs to be destroyed by the power of prayer. Ugahita umenye yuko hari barriere ikeneye gusenyeshwa imbaraga z'amasengesho. I'm sure another barrier that 
hindered progress in the family. Judges chapter 6 verses 25. Judges chapter 6 verses 25. Here we see, and it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Take the father's younger bull, even the second bull of seven years old, throw down the altar of Bar that thy father has, and cut down the grove that it is by it, and build an altar unto the Lord thy God upon the top of this rock, in the ordered press, and take the second bull. And offer a burnt sacrifice with the wood of the grave, which thou hast cut down. Then Gideon took ten men of his servant and did as the Lord had said unto him. And so it was, because he feared his father's household and the men of the city that he could not do it by day, that he did it by night. Bachamanza, you chibi tanda tumurongo makumiyana nagatano. Noko isorodyu wa monsi, uiteka aramugirati. Ndi mfizi ya sonho ya wende ni ndi ya kabiri imaze imyaka irindwi mm -hmm. maze usandaze igicandiro so yubakiye bari oh. uteme asheri iri hafi yacyo maze hubakire uwiteka imana yawe igicaniro kukanunga kubatsweho igihome ubyitondeye mm -hmm. kandi wende imfizi ya kabiri uyitambeho igitambo cyoswa yes. ucyosheje inkwi za shera uri buteme nuko oh. gidioni ajyana abaga bicumi bo mu bagaragube abigenza nkuko uwiteka yamutegetse ariko yabikoze ninjoro ntiyatinyutse kubikora kumanywa kuko yatinyaga abo mu muryango we se nabatuye muri uwo mudugudu here we see a man called Gideon. Aha, turabona umugabo witwa Gideon. This was a man that was chosen by God. Ah, uyu ni umugabo wari waratoranyijwe n'Imana. But because of the uh, the hidden powers in his family. Ariko kubera za mbaraga zitagaragara ziri mu muryango we. He didn't know the cause of the troubles he had. Ntabwo yarazi igitera ibibazo afite. So God appeared to him and said, Gideon Go back to your father's house. There is an altar. There is an idol you must destroy. This is the cause of your hidden barrier. Gideon had encountered God first. And God said, you a man of vara. Go liberate your people from the hands of the Midians. Gideon said, who am I to liberate my people from the hands of the Midians? Gideon, after encountering God, he still had a solution. question. How can this happen? Gideon, in a new way, who are you, man? You are not just going to give us a give us a trick. What's the big agenda? We have to show up. Now here, God has appeared to Gideon again and saying, "My Gideon, my servant, there is a hidden barrier in your family that was raised up by your father. Go destroy it." That's when your success will be available. Ah, I do some yerero. Gideon, ni mana yonji yoku mugaru kaho. Ira mubgira ngo Gideon, ne kujira ngo shaura gukari bjo mubgira. Subira munzu ya so iwanyu murugo. Harichi jiru gama na bubatse. Uji senye, no mara kuji senya. Ne bwa guteri mbere kwa yokuza kunda. So we see that the ability of Gideon was bounded by the father's altar. Ahanga harero. Trabo na yoku ubusho bze bwa Gideon ni bwari bubo shkwe ni mbara gazeji chani ro chokwas. The, uh, the, the idol of his father never allowed Gideon to succeed. It was a barrier to the success of Gideon. And God said, first go back home. Noneho Bibiliya iramubwira ngo Imana iravuze ngo banze usubire iwanyu kwaso. Verses 25, Judges 6:25. Eh abacamanza gatandatu 25. Go back home. Destroy the, this idol at home. That's when the promises will come to pass. There are many people who have promises but are not fulfilled. God promised me this. God promised me this. But you wonder why can't this come to pass? 
Many times Akenshi, they are invisible barriers that need to be demolished so that you may succeed. So God told Gideon, go at night. Destroy your father's altar. Destroy your bar. And raise a godly altar. So his obedience was the key to enter a new lifestyle. The reason why we love Jesus. He came to die for us. And he gave us power that whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever we lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. You can release the power of God and destroy every hidden barrier in your family. And you see your promises coming to pass. Gideon understood that his rising would bring a difference. I don't know what you are going through today. But I have good news for you. You can decide to destroy every hidden barrier in your life. Destroy whatever was hindering your family members to progress. Everything that is causing some to misbehave in the families. Your prayer can bring a difference. In the name of Jesus. May God hear your prayers from today. May God visit you and guide you as he visited Gideon. I pray for you today. May your abilities be loosed and be used for your time in the name of Jesus. May you never live May you never live before average in the name of Jesus. May your life rise higher. May you be the best in the name of Jesus. May all your hidden potentials be used for God. In the name of Jesus. Say amen. Hallelujah. So Gideon was living below the life God had prepared for him. But when God appeared to him, he destroyed the, uh, the Baal at home. After destroying the altar, Gideon became a hero of his generation. He overcame the enemies of the country. He became a great leader of his generation. All his promises came to pass. He was honored in his community. His word had a power upon his people. After discovering the hidden barrier in his father's house. May your eyes be open today. I pray for you today. I pray for your family members. May your eyes be open today. And identify any barrier, see any barrier around you. May you receive power enough to destroy every barrier in the name of Jesus. May you open your doors for your family members. May God raise you to become the best person in the family. May you become the source of peace and joy in your family. In the name of Jesus. People of God say Amen. Hallelujah. Number four. Invisible barriers can be hidden in the land. Yes, the land. You can buy a land and you fail to build it. You can buy a land and it causes it troubles. For example, turn your Bibles. 2 Kings chapter 2 verses 19. 2 Kings chapter 2 verses 19.
And then the men of the city said unto Elisha, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is present. And as my Lord sees, but the water is not, and the ground is barren. And he said, Bring me a new clues, and put salt therein. And they brought it to him, and he went forth unto the spring of the waters, and he cast the salt in there, and said, Thus says the Lord, I have hid these waters, and there shall not be uh, there from us any days of barren land anymore. Wiche ya abanya mudugu duba aho babgira elisabati dore uyu mudugu du uvurjuri heza huku mireba data bush. Ari kwa mazi ya aho ni mabi. Kande muri chiji hugu imnyaka irarumba. Aravugati ni munza nirimere zonsha mwishire muomu nyo nuko barayi munza nira. Arasohoka ajakwiso kwa ya mazi amisha muomu nyo aravugati uiteka aravu zengo ahumanu ya ya mazi Habgazo njira kuita na changwa kurumja. Nuko amazara humano kana ujingo nubu. Nuko elisa ya wifuzi. Here we see the time of Elisha. Aha turavona mjihecha elisa. The people of Jericho came to him and said man of God. You see the land is well situated. Beautiful land. But man of God, this land is barren. This land is barren. Ariko nubwo ubona ari heza ubu butaka burarumba. The water is bitter. Ndetse na amazi yaho ararura. The land was beautiful. Ubutaka kuburebesha amaso bwari bwiza. But there are hidden barriers in the land. Ariko mu butaka harimo barriers zitagaragara. People die young because of this land. Abantu bapfa bakiri batoya kubera ubwo butaka. So when they came to Elisha, no, no, Elisa, and Elisha came with a solution. Elisa, he said, give me a clue and put some salt on it. And he took the salt to the, the source of the waters. And he said, from today, this water will never be bitter. It's sprinkling salt. From today, this land will never be barren. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that from that day, the waters was never bitter. The land was not barren anymore. People never died young there. Through the prophetic word of Elisha, even the land received the message of the land of God. Through a prophetic act of Elisha, uh, it destroyed every hidden barrier that was in the waters. The prophetic word and the act of Elisha destroyed hidden barriers in the land. Uh, the land wasn't fertile anymore. Oh. So the barren was no longer bar the land was no longer barren. People started harvesting, they started doing investment because the man of God spoke a word that destroyed the barrier. I want to pray for you today. In the name of Jesus. Every barrier that was affecting your investment. May that barrier be removed in the name of Jesus. Every barrier that was causing troubles in your family I command to be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I release a prophetic word in your family. May your family have peace. I declare a prophetic word let your family have unity. I declare prophetic word in your business. May your business rise up again. May your business rise up again. 
may you never fail in the name of Jesus. I will lose a prophetic word to a marriage. You will never destroy your marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will lose a prophetic word. You will never be separated from good people. May you be protected. Every barrier that is separating from good people, let it be cut fire by the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare protection over your life. Protection over your children. Protection over your business. Protection over your investment. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say amen. My friend, invisible barriers can affect people. You find many people are discouraged without knowing what is causing them troubles. Many times people blame others. I am like this because of somebody. Others say I'm like this because of my uncle. I'm like this because of Sanso. I want to invite you today. Discover every barrier in your life. And bring it to Jesus. Apply the blood of Jesus on it. The barrier will be destroyed. Any barrier you see, use the power of the word of God. You will destroy that barrier forever. You will never fail in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, hallelujah. So there are many barriers that are fight people. But we have seen more and we can see more again. Let me show another barrier that fights marriage. Some people's marriages are destroyed because of a hidden barriers. Barriers, barriers, barriers. Barriers can cause troubles. Yes. Genesis chapter 29, verses 26. Yes. Genesis 29, verse 26. And Rabban said, It must not be so done in our country to give the younger before the firstborn. Fulfill her week, and we will give thee this also for the service which thou has uh, done. Serve with me yet seventy other years. Rabban Aramusubizati, Iwachu, Nibagenza Barchu. Yes. Wishing Yira Umuto. Uh -huh. Yes. Mara imins i Mara iminsirinugi. Yo wo tuvone kugushingira nuriya. Yo yindimya kirinugi. Uza tend. Here we see a man called Jacob. Aha Travano Mugavitwa Yakobo. His barrier was hidden in his name. Ah Bari Yeri Yarafite, Yari Hishka Mwizinari. For his father gave him a name. The name Jacob caused the trouble. No, no, Izina Yakobo Ugarjuri Mutezi Chivas. That caused the trouble to himself, to his brother, and to his father. Ijozina Rimutezi Chivasuge, Rigitez Muva and Dimwe, Rigitezanas. It even caused the trouble to his mother. Rebecca died young because she, uh, she, uh, she caused the trouble in the family of Jacob. He told Isaac, the husband, My husband, you have to bless your son. She knew what was going on. And Isaac told Esau. No, no, Isaac Go bring me hot meat. The other meat you know that I love. And I bless you. Rebecca had it. 
Probably they discussed this before because the woman and the husband must agree to each other. Ah, uh, mirasho boka kui ibibi no. Bari bara biga ni revjo go heshaba no mojisha. Kwe ra kongo mugabo no mugore bango mbaga kuga ni revi revjo rogorwa. And the only candidate uh, Isaac Asso was Esso. No ne horero umukandi da wambere Isaac ayabona ga yari Esso onginfuro. But the wife of the candidate she had was Jacob. Ari kumudamu we we umukandi da yabona ga ugoha gumujisha yabona gari yakubu. What happened? Isaac sent Esso. Ah, no, no, it's our way. No, go Isaac, go here, Reje. Esau. Esau went. Esau was in there. The Bible says Jacob also was told by the mother what is going on. Ah, no, no, Esau was not going to go in there. Now Rebecca now was going to go. Jacob was going to go. Get the nearest animal. We make meat for you. I was going to go. Half, half, half. We come here. Half. We make it. We do. Jacob feared. Ah, Jacob had a thing. And the mother said, "If he curses, let that curse come to me." Ah, who are you? Jacob had a thing. 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 He said, "I have done it." Who are you? He said, "I am Esau you sent." He said, "Allah." 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 Aho ni kuhivi baza bja tangiri yeri. Jacob turned his father's house upside down. Yakobo atangira kuzunguzi zuri yase hasi hejuru. He flee. Kujazuka hunze. He went to his uncle's house. Aja kuwa kwani ra rumi raba. The family of raba. Mumuri yangu wa raba. Now he's working for his father-in-law and his uncle. No na walelo atangi ya gupaga sa ari kuwa paga sa ho ni ngira rumi ari kwani na wesebu. But what came out? The father never, the uncle never helped him. Ariko bja shoje nira rume atamufashish. Instead of giving the younger daughter she wa he wanted, he gave him the or eldest daughter. Ah, ya kubo yari yara sabje umukobga muto ya wanyira rume bisoza nira rume amge garitse aramugrati dagushi njuru mukuru. And Jacob had no option. Kandi ya kubo na hayande mahita mo yara shigash. Problems came again. Ibiwa zobira kumeza bira zamu. He accepted. Arabje emera. He wanted to marry one woman. Ya shaka kagusha kumugoru mge. He ended up marrying two. Biso za shate babiri. They all also brought their concubines. Na wawara nje wazana na wajawa kaba jawa babu. So he had many wives. No, no. So zafite wa gore babiri. Ni shoreche. Afite wa gore benshi. Hidden barriers can heap problems in your life. Ah, is barriers ta gara gara. Zisho wa kuza ni chiru ndo chibi. That's why we have to come to Jesus. As we hear this word, what problems do you have? Which barriers are you facing? Which barriers are you facing? What caused the troubles in your life? Which barriers are you facing? 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 That is the power of God beginning. God is ready to support you, my friend. He is ready to speak for you. Where are you failing? He is there to help you. God is there to help you. You have tried and failed. Yes, you have achieved something. But there is another person who is willing to help you. His name is Jesus. Come to him. He will help you to overcome every barrier. Every barrier your father never broke. You can overcome it. Because you have Jesus. That's why Apostle Paul said, I can do everything through Christ. Christ who strengthens me. You need somebody who can strengthen you where your family never. 
by God's strength. Maybe somebody who can show you the best way to overcome it. Surrender your life to Jesus. God has good plan for you. We have come to share the word of God with you, my friend. So receive Jesus who will help you. I invite you today. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus, my friend. Your creator has the answers that will help you. He knew that you, you will be born before you were born. He knew what you really need before you were born. Just surrender your life to him. He will help you. He will show you the solution for every barrier. Through Christ, you will never fail. Through Christ, you can never break your marriage. Through Christ. What stopped your family members will never stop you. Through Christ we are more than conquerors. Jesus. My friend I invite you today. Surrender your life to Jesus. He is the way to heaven. He will help you to go to another level. He will fill you with his joy. So I want to help you uh, into a prayer and receive Jesus as your pastor. I want to pray with you, my friend. And you receive Jesus as your personal Savior. So, pray with me so that Jesus can come in your life. And He will guide you. He will guide you into all the victories you need in life. So, pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Jesus, come in my life. Forgive me all my sins, Lord. Lord Jesus, remove my names from the book of perishing people. Write my names in the book of life. Dear Holy Spirit, come and guide me. I'll serve you all days of my life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I pray for you, my friend. May you be strengthened in this spiritual journey. May God protect you in everything you are doing. May you never fail in every good project that you are doing. May the good hand of God come upon your life. May you eyes see what was hidden from your life. May you be connected to the, to the will of God. In the name of Jesus. God bless you so much, my friends. We want to hear from you. So if you are sick, I want to pray for you. If you are sick, touch whatever you have in your mind. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for the sick people. May your hand come upon them. The Bible says, you shall pray for the sick and they will be healed. I declare healing for your children. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your good hand heal them, Lord. Let every barrier that was before them be removed in the name of Jesus. You will live longer. In the name of Jesus. You will live longer. We declare good health over your life. Good health over your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much my friends. We want to hear from you. If you want to get prayers from us, just reach us through that number. They will pray for you because God has good plans for you. We are here to pray for you. You are created to reflect the image of God. So your life will always reflect the love and the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Be blessed.
Yes, if you want more of these teachings, uh, you can watch over the Mocho Ministries over YouTube or uh, Facebook. And feed your faith. And we we'll become blessed in everything. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Be blessed, be blessed. But. Hallelujah, bene data. Itore ruto ministry kore la jaga tuvu. Tumuhanda wamagana bidi mirongo ina naga tanda tu. Kaga dirabatu miye mumatera ni abaku aga tatu. Muhera sa kumi ni mweku jaza samoya. Tu kajira nandi matera ni ruyabo hoka. Ata njira sa sita kujaza sa kumi ni mwe. Ufiti viva zobi kuboshe kushi bidi abita mukanyo. Ufiti zaka rande ni mendi jose. We no wachi re yeso. We no kwa yeso. Obo hoke wachi ra buchi ra kuima. Muraba kuri kumwe n'umukozi w'Imana ngo gitapose John Kabagambe wino wakire gukira ibyo byose bikugose ne muri wa gatano sasita kugeza saa 11 kandi tukagera na materano yo kutyumweru atangira saa 2 akageza saa 4 tukagera nandi atangira saa 5 akageza saa 8 kandi wadukurikira ku mbuga za tumora nyambaga ari zo muco ministries kuri Facebook na YouTube aho se wahatusanga wino wakire kugira neza kw'Imana Utahani kitanga za chawe nomi Haleluya Kandi wana duha magara Kulizeru karen humunanu munani Katanda turimge kabirikane kane karinwe